Okay. Uh, welcome back to um, a new episode of the of the pelvic saga. Right. So last time um, we left with um, a, the beginning of a drawing of the pelvis from the side view, from the inside. Meaning, see, this is uh, uh, what I did. I took this is a female pelvis, separated it, took uh, the the left iliac wing off. And this is the view that I have created here, right? Because um, one of the requests that uh, um, uh, you guys um, uh, did was, um, what does it look like inside? Right? The, so what? Uh, where are the organs positioned? So today we're going to deal with this view, the in, internal organs, and eventually... Um, not today, but next time we're going to go over the external um, um, genitalia. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see how do we proceed from here. So when I was a student uh, in Italy of surgical illustration, we were creating images in layers, pretty much like you would do today with Photoshop, right? But we would do it with uh, tracing paper. So... First, you build up the deep layers, right? And then over it, you put tracing paper and um, you now put in gradually build up, build up the, uh, um, uh, the various uh, organs and anatomical parts of, uh, um, in this case, the pelvis. So I'm not gonna go so uh, thoroughly through all the different layers, but I'm going to use this first uh, layer, the skeleton, to build up now a, a, a just one view of um, a section of the pelvis and see where the organs are and the outline of the pelvis is, right? So, um, let's see, so now we start with the outline of um, the soft part, so this is going to be the belly, right? Um, and um, at the level, as I get in here, at the level of the pubic bone, I'm going to have in this area here uh, a fatty pad, which is the pubic mound, right? So during during puberty, um, the the pubic mound swells because of hormonal um, um, causes, and um, um, and then uh, it creates this um, pronounced volume where um, here we have a, a fatty area, all right? So therefore puberty takes the name of this from this um, physiological change, right? Uh, that um, denotes clearly uh, sexual maturity. So now here I have the back, the sacrum is here, right? The glutei here. And now what I want to do, I want to create a section of the pelvis at this level here. See this, I cut it here, right here. So I, I remove this half in here. And then, uh, <clears throat> so now the sacrum is cut in half. And, the, and I'm gonna have a, a, a line in here that um, is uh, along the median line of the body, right? The section like this, right? And, uh, but the gluteus is not along the median line, is, is on the side, right? Therefore, the gluteus in here is not going to be cut. I'm gonna show the gluteus here, right? And uh, from here, I want to block in the legs. So the leg will start more or less uh, at the level of uh, halfway between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic bone, more or less in here, but I don't see it here because the leg is now behind this area here, right? So I have to imagine that the leg is coming out from here and then emerging at this point in here, right? And from here, I'm gonna have the lower part of the leg. So this is the gluteus, right? And now I have this section of the pelvic area where I'm going to position the genital. But before we do that, I want to show you now a quick um, um, 
rendering of the side view of the um, female torso, right? Showing the rib cage here and the pelvis here, right? So what happens in here is this, that um, we have seen that this section here is pretty much rounded like this, but the gluteus goes a little bit lower, down like this. So considering the glutei, I'm going to show you this from the side view, right? The side view now without cutting anything. This is the belly, right? The iliac crest is about here, right? And uh, this is the volume of the sacrum, and this is the gluteus. The gluteus now goes down a little bit lower than uh, um, the beginning of the leg. So if the beginning of the leg is, let's say, this is the pubic bone, right? This is the iliac spine. It is, is the, the top of the leg is about halfway between the, the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic bone here. It means that the leg from the front, oh, it's blocking the knee also here, right? Um, the leg from the front is going to look this long, right? I think I already discussed this in the previous videos, but hey, you know. Um, and from the back, the leg will appear shorter, right? Because of the gluteus coming down like this, right? So. The, the genitals are going to be just behind the profile of the leg. And here you're going to see a little bit of pubic hair maybe here. And the genitals are going to be here, right? not visible. So now you see how when I look at the side view um, of, um, 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 of, of, of the body, I'm going to have, whether it's male or female, in a... Um, a, this volume in here is going to be oriented at an angle like this, right? And the gluteus, the end of the glutei, are going to be lower than the genitals. I'm saying this because uh, it's, it's a fairly common error that I see in figure drawing where the glutei are <clears throat> put at the same level uh, as uh, the genitals, but they are not. This, the glutei had to go below the level of the genitals. Make sense? Okay, so now, uh, once I have this outline, um, I want to see where, what is everything, right? What is everything? So, um, now, between the pubic symphysis, this area here and this area here, I'm going to have... Um, the um, the uh, the opening, the urinary, the of urethra here, and then I'm going to have the vagina, and I'm going to have the anus in this area here, right? So let's see. With the start with the bladder, the bladder will be positioned about here, just behind the pubic, the pubic symphysis here, right? And uh, the um, urethra will open up about here, a little bit below the pubic symphysis, right? So that's the urethra, right? The, um, the colon uh, uh, will be position rectum is going to be positioned here, right? Against, leaning against the uh, sacrum here, like this, right? And this is going to be cut in a section, right? So this is... The rectum is going to be here, right? The anus is going to be here, right? So this is all the um, this all the rectum, right? This is all section. 
I'm going to refine this as, as we go, right, guys? And uh, the um, uterus is going to be over above the bladder in here, right, in front of the rectum. Right. See what happened when with pregnancy, you're going to have the, the uterus kind of going this way like this, squeezing now the poor bladder, right, which is now going to have a limited uh, capacity and, um, and that creates, you know, problem with the frequency of urination. All right, so this is the uterus right here. And uh, so that's the fornix, right? And uh, the vagina is going to be um, not halfway between the ureter and the anus, but a little bit closer to to the, the ureter here, right? And coming down at an angle like this, right? So this is the, 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 the vagina here. And uh, so let's see if I can make it a little bit darker, right? Very nails. Okay, so. So now, um, here, this is the, uh, this is the uh, symphysis, the pubis, the articular part, the face that articulates um, the two pubic bones coming together, right, here. The clitoris is going to be here, right here, like this. Now, you see last week when I showed you the whole clitoris this is the clitoris right this is this is the clitoris but um, what we see in a section is only this portion here right in a median section is all you only this portion here which is this so meaning I'm gonna do this uh, without that you guys see it because it's kind of gruesome right if I cut the clitoris in half, right, and I put it here, this portion in here, all this portion in here, is going to be hidden by all the fleshy part in here. So the only part of the clitoris that I see is this, right? That's, that's it. The rest, all of this, all of this is not visible, right? Okay, so um, so now this is the pubic mound, right? And the pubic mound, I'm going to go over here with creating the prepuce over the clitoris, which is going to be cut also. Below the clitoris in here, I'm going to have the, the meatus, the urinary opening here, right? So this is the opening, the, the cavity of the bladder, right? And then from here, I'm going now to connect this with the vaginal, the vagina, right? The vaginal opening here. So all of this is, of course, section, right? the anus and uh, and uh, now here at this point in here I'm going to have start with a start with the outer lips right the labia maium the the, the, the outer lips or grandi labbra the great the greater lips at this same Italian right here 
and um, so we're going to see uh, eventually from the front um, th this the, all these structures. Now I just want to show you in, in in section, right? So from here now I'm going to have I was say I was working on the Prapios here, right? And I'm going to have now here developing here the the lesser lips, right? Here, like this, right? And, uh, <clears throat> right? So, this course is going to end up in the anus, like this, right? So, so outer lip, inner lips, the vagina is here, and uh, the clitoris in here with the prepuce over it. See if we can make it even more, more visible. So I'm going to color the clitoris blue. And um, so now this is um, a section of the female pelvis, right? This is the gluteus, and uh, from here with the next. Uh, with the next uh, um, video, I will show you the um, external genitals, right? So, but it's, it's important to kind of have a, a, a general idea here first, where things are, how they are organized in relation, in relation to each other. So we have a clitoris, And then um, we have, actually, I'm gonna write it better. So we have clitoris. Okay. So this is the urethra. I'm writing it in, uh, in Italian, sorry. Um, some, some age somewhere there. <clears throat> um, this is the outer lips. Or grandi labbra or labia maius, outer <coughs> lips. Uh, this is the inner lips. This is the this is the vagina, and this is the anus. Okay, so this is the pubic mound. Okay, uh, which again, it's 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 a fatty it's a fatty pad, uh, just over the uh, synthesis of the pubis and just above just above the uh, the clitoris. This pubic mound. Uh, as it, it reaches the clitoris, separates into the two outer lips, and uh, but this is something that we're going to see um, we're going to see with the next uh, with the next video. Uh, eventually, I will also prepare videos <clears throat> with the male uh, genitalia.